PeteTools.com. So guys, I finally bit the bullet and I went and brought the cheapest plasma cutter I could find on Amazon, a Pilot Arc plasma cutter. Normally the Pilot Arc is about, you know, eighty hundred dollars dearer, but I found this one. And the difference between the HF and the Pilot Arc is only about six dollars or even ten dollars or something like that. So I brought it, I paid my uh, extra tax on it when I brought it into the country and I paid for international shipping. So my $200 plasma cutter has cost me $550, but anyway, that's life when you live on the other side of the world. So today, guys, I just thought we'd do a quick video. What do you get for 200 bucks for a Pilot Arc plasma cutter? Yeehaw! Same as usual, guys. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Put in the comments if you can find a cheaper Pilot Arc plasma cutter, and I might do a review on that as well. Anyway, enough crap from me. Let's get into it. So what do you get for 200 bucks, guys? You guys are a bit more fortunate than me because, you know, you can actually buy it for 200 bucks and pay $200 for it. You don't have to pay um, GST or extra tax or you don't have to import it to the other side of the world, if you know what I mean. So you can actually get it for what it, what they charge you for it. But anyway, that's a different story. So $200 plasma cutter, what do we actually get? Now, we get an AG60 torch, which is actually an AG60P. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you know I go on and on and on about the cost of consumables. This torch, as far as the consumables go, is about the second cheapest to run, if you know what I mean. The first one is the PT31, which is this torch here, but this is not a Pilot Arc version, so this is the cheapest one to run on a Pilot Arc version of a machine, if you understand what I'm saying. But, um, but like I say, guys, the difference between running this and a PT31 is really, really neg negligible. Well, that's a big word for me this time in the morning, isn't it? <laughs> But yeah, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, like I say, Pilot Arc, nice looking torch. Got the safety switch on it, like they all do these days. And the machine itself, guys, doesn't actually look too bad. It looks quite well made. It's quite heavy, probably seven or eight kilos. Just your standard four plugs here. One for your Pilot Arc, one for your torch switch, one for your power lead and your ear, and one for your earth clamp. The only thing I don't like about it, really, what I've noticed so far, guys, is the earth clamp is a bit sort of tinny and shitty. But I can change that, that's no worries at all. Um, I mean, they're only 10 bucks or 20 bucks and put a decent earth clamp on it. Because half the problem when you're plasma cutting is the bloody earth. I've um, done some videos before, like if you can put your earth closer, to, closer and closer to your cut, then you get more and more power out of your machine. Anyway, that's a different story, Pete. So what we'll do, guys, I've done another couple of videos on how to set it up. If you haven't set up a plasma cutter before, how to put the water trap in and all that crap. So you can have a look in the description below if you want to see them. So what controls have we got here? So let me zoom in guys and I'll show you the controls that we have. As you can see it's a flame weld, I don't know what sort of brand flame weld is. But I mean like I say, it looks alright to me so far. So what we have here guys is 110 volt or 220 volt and the current here. And we have here, which is a, they call it post time. Well you can call it whatever you like, post time, flare time or whatever you want. And what this thing does here is it alters how much air is coming out of your torch when you let go of the trigger. So if you have it on like really, really low setting like that and you let your trigger go, it measures how long the air comes out of the nozzle to cool off your nozzle. Because the theory is the more amps you have, the more air you're going to need to cool off your nozzle. And if you go back to cutting really quick, it'll burn your nozzles out quicker, if you understand that. Another one of my clear as mud explanations. <laughs> so guys, let's switch this thing on and we'll watch it light up. It's got to be a bonus. Right, so it's telling us now, guys, that we're running on 220 volts here, as you can see. Um, when I plug it in 110, later, you'll see this light here light up, the 110 volt thing, which is quite good, really, because it gives you the two options of your power settings, and then it's got a thermal overload light here. And like I say, this is just your post time for how much air comes out of your um, torch at any one time, and this is your current setting here. So you go right down from... 10 amp is the minimum, and we can go right up to 50 amp like that, which is uh, quite good because you can get quite a good adjustment on that. Not like my older one where it doesn't have a digital display. My older plasma cutter is still an electronic version, but it just doesn't have all the bells and whistles like this thing does because it's about 10 years old. So, yep, so there we go. And here what we have is, is just telling us the cutting thickness and what sort of PSI we need. Like it's basically telling us anything from 50 to 65 PSI when they go from 8mm up to 14mm. 
So it's supposed to be able to cut 14 mil, I think, but that might be really interesting. We'll put it to the test in a minute, and I'll see what we can cut with a little bugger. <laughs> so guys, it says it can cut up to 14 millimeters up here. So it says on the tin. So we'll see if it'll cut 14 millimeters. I'll start cutting something smaller like this, and we'll go up and see if it'll cut 14 mil. So I need that at 50 amp. And we'll put the post time just up a little bit so we can cool the consumables off. Kick it in the guts, Pete. See what it does. And bearing in mind, guys, this is a $200 pilot arc machine. 50 amp. Yo. Right. Kick it in the guts. <laughs> right, this one here, guys, this is about four millimeters. Well, that didn't even look at that, guys. It's straight through like butter. Bing! So, works on that. Now we've got about five millimeters, six millimeters. No, it's about six mil, I think. Let me measure that. It's about six millimeters, guys. All right, see if it'll cut six mil. Once again, guys, no issues whatsoever. Pretty good cut as well. Right, now the big one, guys. I couldn't find any flat plate, so I had to get a, uh, <coughs> I'll use this for um, lifting weights. It's on a weight bar. It's about 14 millimeters thick. So we'll see if it'll cut that. Hee <laughs> hee. Rightio, give it a crack, Nigel. I've got my doubts, but let's have a look. What do you reckon guys? I didn't think it would cut through that. Cut through that, not much of a problem at all, really. Little bit of slag on the bottom, but you can just whack that off with a hammer. But look at that. Pete is quite impressed with that, guys. <laughs> and if you have a look at the consumables here, guys, it's got virtually no wear on it at all. I'm quite impressed with that, actually, to tell you the truth. Because like I say, I haven't had a new machine for 10 years. And wow, well, okay. So, what do you reckon, guys? To tell you the truth, that surprised the hell out of me. It's better than my old machine. Um, mind you, like, I've only had it two or three days, but it's looking good so far. It'll cut what it says it's supposed to cut. I'm sure it'll last quite a while as well. It's quite well made. Another thing I like about it, guys, is it's got a long torch lead. The torch lead's about four metres long. Normally, they come about bloody three metres or something like that, which is a pain in the bum, which is just long enough not to reach where you want a bloody cut. But um, this, anyway, quite surprising. But I mean, when you can cut this with a $200 machine and it's also pilot art, well, how the hell can you go wrong? Anyway, time will tell. I'll put a link in the description for Amazon if you want to have a look at one yourself. Um, it's an affiliate link of mine, so I get a little bit of commission every time you buy one. But don't buy it on the, on the strength of that. Just buy it if you think it's good for you. And with the commissions, if you buy a machine that I recommend, it just helps me buy the next machine that I can review. Anyway, guys. Same as usual, like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. And like I said to you before, if you can find a cheaper bloody applied arc machine that actually works properly, put it in the comments and I'll, I would like to do a review on it. Anyway guys, remember to subscribe if you like what you see, and we'll see you next time, mate. Eh? Oh guys, if you want to know how to bend steel with the old plasma torch, if you haven't got a gas torch, check up here guys, I'll put a video up there, check that out. It's a good video to watch, and see you next time. Bye. Pete's Tools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.